Good morning, guys. Well, yeah, I, I didn't just wake up. I, I woke up a little bit ago. But, um, it's because I had to watch the Steven Universe <laughs> uh, final episode. And I'm not okay, but, you know, whatever. Um, day two of lockdown. Hi. I don't know what I'm going to do today. Hey there, good morning. First cut now. <laughs> good morning. It me, your boy, Kiwi. After having some nice mm, coffee inside of me, I am still crying. <laughs> I'm still sad about the uh, Steven Universe, but that's not what this episode is um, about, or this vlog is about, because um, I'll cry some other time. Um, let me just see, am I, like, I just, yeah, sorry. Okay, um, vlog day two. Here we go. So... Today's episode, uh, today's episode is, it's, it's gonna be about how I got my, uh, my good pal right here, my best friend, my life partner, he's, he's right here, come on, come, uh, yeah, I'm taking your food away, do, do, you, do you want your food, do you, do you want your food, yes you do, hi, it's this one, it's Frisk. <laughs> oh gosh. Okay, I'm gonna put you back. There we go. Just know that Frisk will be right here. I don't know if the camera will be able to see it, well, if my phone will be able to see it, see them, but you know. Um, how I got Frisk. I, I did uh, briefly start talking about this in the last episode, but I uh, edited that out because it was taking too long. It was like a 45 minute video. And I'm not quite okay with having things 30 minutes, but you know what? It, it was the first episode, I'm fine with it. <sighs> okay, so um, how I got Frisk. It all started <laughs> the year. The year was nine. <laughs> I'm joking. No, it all started with a job interview. I, uh, I was uh, looking for a job, still am, and um, I went to N1 City. A uh, N1 City. <laughs> Hi. Uh, I went to N1 City to the PNA because I'm an RC person. Um, I went to PNA to see if I can get a job. I was like, hey, can I leave my resume here? And they were like, wig. So I was like, wig. So, like, yeah. <laughs> and then I browsed through their store, uh, store, I keep on going into that for to the store, and, like, I, I took in everything and stuff like that, and, um, uh, oh, and I left the store, and just before I was gonna leave, I said, you know what, I'm gonna go, uh, go see the babies, um, because right by the P&A, there is a pet store, and I know some people go say, "Hey, adopt, don't shop," or "or uh, you should adopt your pets. You shouldn't buy them. It's bad. It's 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 uh, it's bad." <laughs> I was like, "Yeah, I know," but I still like looking at them. Ooh, am I now too short for the camera? Ooh, I should really get an actual camera. Um, yeah, so I went to the pet store that, that was just, uh, that was just off the way of P&A, and I, I, I walk in there, I was like, hi, here to see the babies, and they were like, why, uh, why do you keep on coming in here, it's been, like, three years, leave, I'm like, wig, so, like, I go to the bird section, which is, well, it doesn't, it's not really a bird section, it's just kind of, like, a bunch of cages stacked on top of each other next to the fish, um, it's a very small store. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, um, 
So I go there and I see two new cages that weren't there before. A big one and a bigger one. <laughs> Where could we? Uh, I'm gonna have to keep on adjusting it. Um, yeah, a big one and a bigger one. In the first big one, I see my boy. I see, I see, I, I see a beautiful green cheeked conure. <laughs> and in the other one, I see an amazingly hilarious ringneck who, like, was upside down, crawling on the roof of her of their cage, just. <laughs> I was like, okay, adorable. I was like, um, yeah. Uh, mm. So I go to the store employee, employees, and I'm like, hey, uh, whose bird is that? Because uh, that, that store has a history of, um, like, if a employee of N1 City, like, if you work at Pick and Pay, or you work at Mr. Price, or you work at anywhere, and if you have a bird or a pet, they will look after it for you while you're at work, so you don't have to leave them alone at work, uh, at home, and stuff. Um, yeah, it's you know they just so uh, yeah, and I and I've seen like a nice bird there before, and it's like oh nice bird, it's like oh yeah, it's not ours, we're just looking after it. I'm like okay, wig. <laughs> So I was like, oh, whose birds uh, are, are these? They're adorable. I'm like, oh no, they're not any ones. We're selling them. I'm like... So, <laughs> I asked how much and they gave me the price and was like a pretty penny. And I was, and I just couldn't stop looking at <laughs> my boy um, here. And I took a picture and I sent it to, like, everyone I knew. <laughs> like, uh, especially my friend Kirsten. She's amazing. Uh, she was actually planning on, like, surprise, or not surprise, she told me. But, like, she was planning on getting me two lovebirds. I was like, wig. But, like, then I saw this boy. And I was like, oh, I need, like, it's too expensive. But, like... I'm willing to go half seas on the on the cost with Kirsten. Like so I sent so I sent her the the picture and I saw then also sent the people on my oop getting too low there. Um I also sent the picture on my group chat the sent the picture uh, um to the group chat that I'm in and like uh, yeah. Um Sorry, it's the morning. Uh so I sent the pictures and they were like, oh my god, it's adorable. I'm like, oh my god, yes. And, <laughs> like, I, I, I think two of my good friends took it upon themselves to, like, be the best, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. Like, okay, uh, some context. In our friend group, we had just made this thing where people get birthday managers and uh, they have to have a birthday wish list on Facebook so people can you know see it and use it and you know stuff so it was getting close to my birthday 16th of Feb um, and yeah <laughs> like I sent the picture to two of my good friends in particular I had like very heavy interests like they, they were like saying like okay how much is it i'm like no no <laughs> it's too expensive like i don't like yes i want i wanted the bird i, I want like i still like I, it's an amazing gift but i also don't want them spending money on me like like kirsten like i get it because we've been friends for a very long time she knows me and she was already planning on getting me birds anyway. I was okay with like splitting the costs with her because like, have you seen my boy? They're adorable. <laughs> uh, but like, they're like one of them in particular is a mother, and I didn't want them just spending money. I like, like that. I still don't want them to, but they, but they keep, but yeah, they kind of force their way into 
buying me stuff. <laughs> I don't know, it sounds bad. <laughs> but, yeah, um... I think they made, like, a, a separate group chat or something like that, where, like, they plan on... They, they planned buying me Frisk, like, with some other people. Um, like, my, like, Kirsten eventually joined that group chat too. And then, like, I do have the date saved somewhere. I think it's on my phone, but I'm filming with it. Like, a few days before my birthday, actually... A few like oh like a few weeks before my birthday, my f my my good friend friends Maggie and Carlin, those are the two I was talking about. They just messaged me s saying they're outside. I'm like okay, uh, this can't be good. So I go outside and like they <laughs> they're being <laughs> they had. <laughs> Oh, God, I love them so much. <laughs> they... They were hiding Frisk behind their... Carlin, I think, was hiding Frisk behind her back as if I couldn't, like, see... Stop biting me. <laughs> if, as if I couldn't see a brightly orange carrier case. I'm like, oh, no, they didn't. They didn't. Then they showed me, and I'm like, she did. They did. They did. They did. <laughs> Oh god, I was so happy. <laughs> like, I didn't know, like, uh, words, I, um, words. Hi, Fresk. <laughs> uh, yeah. It was real, it was, it was, it was amazing, it was a very special moment. <laughs> Frisk, stop chewing on the phone. Stop chewing on the phone, Frisk. No. <laughs> oh shoot. Okay. Um. Yeah, and they even bought me some starting out stuff like foods and these treats that I still use today. And now Frisk, going, oh, now you're freaking out. Oh, oh, oh. You see your, you see, you see your treats. Uh, you're, you're, you're about to do a, uh, a heckin' a fall. Don't, don't fall. Okay, now that I've, now that I've, now that, now that it's, now, now that, oh, stop. <laughs> now that if you, now that you've seen it, you're, you're gonna want to listen. Stop! <sighs> I regret buying you that new food bowl. Uh, I don't know if you can see, but, you know, I bought this new food bowl. It's like a little perch with a food bowl, and they like to basically flip this on it, like, flip this over and dance all the way on the floor, and I'm like, no. So, like, yeah. Um, but I love them. <laughs> and I was just so, like, happy, and then not only that, the, the day before my birthday, they took me to Beefcakes, which is, like, I wouldn't say gay bar, it's like a gay restaurant. Like, you know, you, you know the you know the type. Like all the servers are 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 fit young men stop. Are fit young men. They all the cocktails are named after something. Burlesque. And with and there was a drag show. I really enjoyed the drag show. <laughs> they made me wear a wig. Not the drag show. My friends, <laughs> they made me wear a wig, and I was all for it. I was like, wig, <laughs> wig. Um, <laughs> my gosh, sorry. Uh, it was amazing. Like, the reason why I like birds so much is because, well, first of all, they look so derpy when, when they stare at you face forward, but also it's like... <laughs> You're so fragile, yet so fierce. You can fly away whenever you need to. Well, except Frisk. Before, before, before I got him, before I even saw them, apparently, ooh, apparently, uh, the store owners clipped their wings and uh, uh, clip clipped their wings and yeah. I, I I still need to decide whether or not 
after they grow back uh, to clip them again. I'm probably not going to clip them again because uh, I'm pretty sure in that time it will take for them to, for Frisk to grow them back. Like, I think Frisk will be okay, like, just, you know, chilling out with me. <laughs> like, uh, I've already seen Frisk make attempts to fly to me when I, like, like, okay, behind you is her cage, their cage. And, like, I make, like, like, I'm, I'm leaving, and Frisk is like, take me with you, take me with you, take me with you. <laughs> uh, yeah, so, but, like, it, that's a conversation for another time. Um, yeah, this is a much chiller episode, um, episode. Uh, this is a much chiller... Vlog? Since, uh, the first one. Yesterday. I don't need to do any uh, housework today. Plus, it's Saturday. I think I'm uh, like, yeah. But uh, that's pretty much how I got Frisk. Uh, the summary version, I, s I saw them. I told all my friends about them. My friends took it upon themselves. Ba bada bing, bada boom. Frisk is here, loving her life. Their life. His life. I don't know the gender, okay? <laughs> like, I heard, uh, actually getting the gender of the bird is very expensive, and... You know what? Frisk can be whatever they want. That's why I gave them the... Their name was initially Cinnamon Bun. After what I call Kirsten, because, like, she's amazing for even, like... Like, thinking about the idea of getting me birds, I was like, like, when when she was g just going to get me those two love birds, I was going to say, yes, one of them is going to be called Bun, or Cinnamon Bun, and like, <laughs> because like, yeah, but now her, like, Frisk is, well, Frisk, Frisk, Bun, my last name, I'm not going to say it because I don't want to, but like, Frisk, Bun, last name, <laughs> and also, like, I really like the name Frisk, obviously, from Undertale, but like, it's so androgynous. So I can just say, oh, first can be whatever they want. They, if, they, if you want to be a he, you can be, nope, this is coffee you can't have. Um, if you, don't try to argue with me. Uh, <laughs> if you want to be a guy, you can be a guy. If you want to be a girl, you can be a girl. You, if you, you just pooped in your food bowl, dude. I love them. Kirsten's amazing. My friends, Mike and Carden, are amazing. Thank you, Zay, for being my birthday manager and, like, getting things started. Thank you, all of my friends, for, like, just being awesome. Like, they know I like birds. Like, I want a pet owl because I think owls are, like, majestic. Like, did you... Hold on. Did you know that owls are the most silent flyers like no seriously i watched this video they took like a very powerful microphone and they had an owl fly from one side of the room to the other and they like captured its sound and it made no sound like it was silent so that's probably why it's a predator <laughs> but like also owls like i just really like them i i like i think I think I started liking them when I when I uh, when I first saw the episode of Avatar where the, there was a giant owl spirit, like for wisdom and stuff like that. And I saw like just you know, it, it looks all fluffy and big, and then uh, it gets ferocious, stretches out a sec, like yeah. <laughs> I know owls can't do that, I think. But like, have you ever seen like baby owls or like just small owls, big eyes, and like ah. <sighs> I love owls. And then, obviously, when I started reading Harry Potter, my love for owls grew. <laughs> and then when I saw it, I was like, I want that. <laughs> I actually want a lot of animals. Like, I want a cat, a dog. Like, I think... I think if I were, if, if I were to, like, list the animals that I want for my future, it's gonna be a Maine Coon, then a regular cat, um... Are you smoking? 
Oh no, it's just the dust from your. Okay, never mind. A Maine Coon, then a regular like Tabby, uh, or Calico or whatever. Um, then I'm gonna get a Husky and a Shiba Inu and maybe even a Lab because I mean like I do like dogs too. <laughs> uh, I know those like two of them. Well, Huskies m mostly. Well, actually, my, okay, Huskies and the Maine Coons. And I guess Shiba Inus are very high maintenance, but I'm here for the challenge. I will probably get <laughs> an owl, uh, but like, uh, I will probably have like a separate aviary, like, like a separate room uh, for an aviary, and like, I will have like my birds, I will have like my conures, I pr will probably get like a whole, like a whole aviary of budgies. Because I used to have budgies and I actually really liked them. Like, they were adorable. But, unfortunately, like, I tried to hand train them. And I got very close with one. But once another one that was gifted to me came into the mix, it kind of, like, threw off all that teaching. And, like, where my original budgie, like, would, like, climb up my finger, eat from my hand, was comfortable when I, like, you know, like... Gently, like, patted it. Like, after the other one came in, like, i go close to the cage and, like, <coughs> I'm like, <laughs> so, yeah. So, most probably, I will get more budgies. I don't know if I, uh, I'm gonna, like, I don't know if I'm gonna just get budgies or, like, hand-reared budgies and, like, like, hand, like, like, pet budgies, not display budgies <laughs> like I don't know if I'm gonna do that or not um, but like I also definitely want to like go like be like a, like I wouldn't mind being a breeder like I want to definitely research being like a breeder because I know it was so hard for me to like find a breeder for like green cheeked conures or or even budgies for for that matter I like nowhere no one around my area was a breeder like a licensed breeder and I want to be like a li if you stop biting me ow okay um <laughs> I want I want to be that breeder for my area because like I like I don't yeah <laughs> like and I'm not gonna be one of those bad breeders that like just hoard like a small hey a small itty bitty page with like gargantuan amounts of birds uh -uh. like if I do become a breeder especially with green sheet conures I will let nature run its course I'll look after them and if they have babies like but I still have to research how to be a good breeder but I want to be a good breeder um mm, yeah <laughs> so I keep on having to adjust this um yeah, I want to be a bird breeder, and maybe even, like, other types of breeders, too. Um, if you flip that bowl over, I'm going to turn you into a chicken nugget. Nah, I can't do that. <laughs> You're too adorable. Oh, sorry. They were scratching his head. Um, yeah, I uh, want to be a breeder. Let me just actually make sure this thing is still recording. <laughs> Like, oh, boy. Oh, this is my setup. This is the bird. This is the perch. This is their ball that keeps on. They want to freaking flip. I still need to buy more stuff for their cage so I can circulate them. Circulate, percolate. And this is my ring light. My amazing cup of coffee that I finished. Uh, yeah, let me just put you back. Oh, ugh, goodness gracious. There we go. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yes. Uh, <laughs> like, yeah, I also want an owl. Like, I will even... <laughs> owl. I will even get, like, a sep... Like... My dreams are bigger than my budget, basically. <laughs> but yeah, like, when, if I do become like, 
comfortable, like where I'm earning an income, but I'm also like, like I can, I can afford to spend some money on like bird stuff, dog stuff, cat stuff, reptile stuff. I also want reptiles. Like, like I just want, I, I'm just going to end up turning my house into like a freaking like petting zoo. <laughs> Which I wouldn't mind. Like, I'll even, like, look after pets while people are away. Like, I'm fine with that. But, yeah. Uh, what does it say? Oh, like, lizards, geckos, those big boys. Uh, and snakes. I like snakes. Uh, tarantulas, I can deal with them. Fish. Okay. <laughs> I have a funny feeling about fish. Okay, uh, I I have an Asian daddy. I have a oh, that sounds so weird. I have an Asian father, and he doesn't like pets. He hates pets because my mom ruined pets for him, kind of. Uh, yeah, she didn't take off to look after them, and was my dad had to look after them. So he was like, okay, no more pets. I was like, no, I want a dog. I was like, then he was like, no, I want a cat. No, I was like, I want a bird. No, you know what I got? fish. <laughs> I guess because he thought fish were like very low maintenance, you don't you don't have to clean anything or do anything. I was like, uh, yes you do. You have to clean their tank. You have to feed them like special diets. You gotta like you'll spend more money on the electricity it'll take to keep them alive than you would just getting me a dog. But you know, I'm not salty or anything. <laughs> Uh, so, like, I liked fish back then, like, I still kind of do, but, like, after so many attempts, and so many fish, like, we even had, like, a big tank, like, a big boy tank, like, 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 I can fit, like, a, like, a baby shark type of tank, do, 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 type of tank, like, it was really big. Like, we had a lot of fish in there, we had different types of fish in there, it looked healthy, like, we even cleaned it, like, that tank was with us for, like, a good few years, but then I think one fish started eating the others, like, a shark, it was a type of shark fish, like, it was, it was small, but it was still eating the others, and we saw it, I was like, oh, fridge, and we don't even know how that happened, I don't think we consciously bought that fish. I think that fish might have been with some other fish that we did want to buy and they kind of scooped them up with with uh, with it and then, you know, carnage. So that, that happened to my fish. And then I also had a baby tank, which aren't really recommended for any type of fish. Like, like even... Even, like, it's like bird cages. You know those standard, uh, bird cages that, uh, like, that you get, or that you feel like getting for every single bird? Like, those, th like, that blue one over there? Like, like, oh, it looks like a little house. It looks like a little house. And, like, my bird's can Hi. <laughs> um, the camera cut out, and now I am in front facing, so if you see me staring here, instead of here... Forgive me. <laughs> um, God, I was talking for so long before I figured out uh, the camera was off. Oh, God, okay. I, was, I said so much. Um, the bird cage I showed you, don't buy that for your bird, I'm just saying. Uh, they need wing space, and they need, like, so many, like, different things. Like, it's just not healthy for the birds. Don't get a circular cage either. Uh, they'll break their wings. Yeah, uh, from me and Frisk, which is currently chewing on cables. Hi, can you not? Thank you. Um, I'm gonna say goodbye. <laughs> Happy lockdown day two, everyone. Stop chewing on my phone.